Hello everybody and welcome back. So, our workload today is going to be a little bit on the light side, but I have some great news. So, I got approval for a new battery. So, that's the first thing we're going to do is throw the new battery in there. And also I want to drain out all the old gas from the gas tank, rinse out the carburetor one last time, throw some new ethanol free gas in there, and put a new spark plug in it. Basically just do a little tune up on it. Now I wanted to do it on ground level to give everybody an idea of what this would be like if I didn't have the forklift in the table, if I was just working on a garage floor. So let's get a new battery on there, let's rinse out the gas, throw a new spark plug, and then we're gonna go for a long, fun test drive. One thing I noticed right off the bat is my posts are reversed. On the old battery, positive is on the left, negative is on the right. And on the new battery, my positive is on the right, negative on the left. That shouldn't make a big difference. I should have plenty of room to cross the wires over and still connect them and everything will be fine. So, put the new one in. Now she's got to get it hooked up. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Helps having a creeper, that's for sure. All right, everything's hooked up on the battery side. That's all good to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is drain all the fuel from the tank, the lines, and the carburetor into this mystery fluid jug. So I'm gonna pop the hood, pull the line off the carburetor, drain everything out, and rinse it out with some fresh gas. Just got back from the store, I got a gallon of fresh gas, brand new spark plug, and a fuel filter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is run a little bit of gas through the tank and try to wash out any of the sediment and gunk left in there. Then I'll put the new fuel filter on and top it off with some fresh gas and we'll move on to the spark plug. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, well I probably could have put a lot less in there, but that's the end of it. A little over a half a quart. So now I'm gonna get this old fuel filter pulled off of here, get the new one hooked up, get our fuel line hooked back onto the carb, and we'll put the rest of our gallon of gas into the tank.
All right, got the tank all cleaned out. Got our new filter on there. Everything's hooked back up. Our fuel is still shut off, but let's get the rest of this gallon poured into the tank. And then we'll open up the fuel, swap out the spark plug, and try to fire it off. All right, that's it on the gas. Nothing's pouring out of the bottom, so that's a good start. All right, now let's get that spark plug swapped out. Yeah, there we have it. This thing is just chock full of carbon burned up. Let's see if we can get it. So there's just so much carbon built up on this. Let's throw the new one on there. It should make a pretty good difference. We'll give it a shot. Try to fire it up, see what happens. We got a new battery, fresh fuel, new spark plug. It's all very exciting stuff. Try to turn up the idle just a little bit. Let's see if that helps at all. Kind of running like a hit and miss. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that, but it is idling. That's the lowest RPM it's ever been able to idle at so far. Uh, so it's a starting point. I'll mess around with the choke, uh, mess around with the idle a little bit, see if I can get it running a little bit better. But as it is, it's already a lot better than it was before. I think the spark plug and the fresh fuel definitely helped out a lot and that filter is going to help prevent a lot of this stuff from happening in the future. So I'm going to keep pooling with it. So I think it's pretty obvious. I'm having a problem with it surging at idle and I really didn't want to, but I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna pull the carburetor off, strip it all down and give it one last good wash with some carb cleaner. 
try to poke out all the orifices and make sure it's as clean as I can possibly get it. Uh, and then I'll throw it back on there and hopefully that's gonna fix the problem. If it doesn't, I've been kind of wanting to go with a Makuni style carburetor anyways. If you know the part number, by all means, leave it down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll do my research and uh, I think that might be in the near future is getting a Makuni style carburetor on this. And that would just make everything a little bit easier. And if I can get this thing to run very well, that's the goal then I can really play with it and work on it, tinker with it, and make all the final changes and adjustments. So, let's rip that carburetor off there, pull it apart, spray it out, and see what happens. All right, carburetor completely dissembled. Everything was cleaned out, poked out, sprayed out. So let's start it up and see if it was all worth it or if we're just gonna have to go with a different carburetor.
Alright, well I cleaned the carburetor the best that I could with everything that I had. I didn't go ultrasonic, I just don't have the equipment for that. But it's not working out for me. I'm still having to run it at a little bit of choke, I'd say probably 25% choke for it to idle really well. And that'll get me through testing and that's fine. And I can work on doing my research on a Makuni style carburetor and then get that, bring it in, slap it on there and we should be good to go at that point. So let's get the throttle cable hooked back up to the pedal. We'll close the hood and let's go have some fun test drive time. just as much fun as I thought it would be. This thing is amazing. I'm having so much fun riding on it, playing with it. Uh, I would love to get a Makuni style carburetor to solve my carb issues, fuel issues, all that stuff. Uh, with the choke running about 25%, it ran fine, it ran great. Uh, so I don't have a real issue with that right now, but I would like for it to just operate the way it's meant to uh, in the near future. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on, uh, do my research on the Makuni style carburetor, see if I can get that ordered. And I'm also going to finish welding up all these panels. I think it's time we throw it back on the table, spend a little time welding up all these panels, get it finished, and start prepping for paint. And we will be a hair away from having this project finished, and it'll be nothing but playing with it after that. Uh, and then we'll move on to our next project, which, stick around, it's going to be a good one. All right, if you like what you see, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you got something on your mind, leave me a comment down below. And otherwise, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.